That's what it is that way. So anyway, I lost everything. I just started using drugs. And I hit rock bottom and lost my apartment, my cars, everything. And um, long story short, I came back. Um, by God's grace and favor, I was healed from addiction. You know, long story short, I'll let you read in the book. I don't want to tell you all the books. Right? And then uh, I got a job with Metro. You got familiar with Metro buses, right? You ever ride the bus? Yes. Yeah. Which one? Huh? Yeah, I used to drive the D8. I used to drive the D8, 2, 4, 6, and 8. I drove all those buses for many years in Metro, right? And um, long story short, I worked for Metro for 18 years, driving buses most of those 18 years. And then I uh, decided in 2006 that I wanted to start my own business. But I was really afraid because, you know, I never really had a business. I used to be a party promoter, but I never had a real serious business. So in 2006, I started my own business. And I was blessed from 2006 to now to make millions of dollars. So you guys uh, are meeting you just met a millionaire. Have you ever met a millionaire before? I did. Yeah. Did you? What was Kevin his name? Durant. Who? Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Michael Beasley. Yeah. Beasley. Oh, you met all those guys? John Wall. Wow. Our cousin plays basketball overseas. Who? What's his name? Trey Kelly. Trey Kelly. Yeah, yeah. I know about Trey Kelly. Yeah, that's our cousin. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. He's not from this area, is he? Mm -hmm. Where did he go to high school? Dumbo. Okay, so he's playing overseas now. You ever talk to him? Yeah, he's all there. Well, I don't know if he's in my grandma's house, but he's here most of the time. Oh, okay. I'd like to meet him next time he, next time he comes, you know, you see him. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, I've done really well for myself um, and was able to retire and, uh, you know, with my business. And then I actually um, also won, I wrote a book. Or from the bus to the Bentley. I'm going to get you guys a copy. I got it right over here. But um, I also won the Steve Harvey Hoodie Awards, right? Because I started my own foundation, the Richard School Foundation. So with the foundation, what, I, what, I, what I'm inspired to do is to come back into the hood and teach you guys to see beyond your circumstances. Great job. Right? What does that mean? Great job. Let me tell you, in short... Here's the secret. Y'all want to know the secret sauce? To go from the bus to the Bentley? How you can go from your bus to your Bentley colors? Want to know the secret? You ready? Yes. Here's the thing. You can do anything that you want to do. Period. All you have to do is apply yourself. I got some principles in that book. I actually got six principles in that book that will help to take you from where you are today no matter where you are, to where you want to be. I'm telling you, it's possible. Here's a guy that graduated, couldn't read, but now I make more money than Barack Obama. How cool is that? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, here's what I found out. Once you make all of the money in the world, a lot of money, and you drive, I drive a Bentley too. You ever seen a Bentley before? Okay, I'll show you mine. I'll take you for a ride in it, right? I, uh, um, once you've driven the nicer cars and you've traveled the world and, and you ate all of the good foods, right? Uh, one of my weaknesses is foods, too. And my wife said because we didn't eat when we was growing up. So now that everywhere I go, I want to I wanna test all the steaks out and everything, right? So here's what I found out. Once you've done all of that, it gets old. And the only thing that matters is you actually pouring into somebody else's life. That's where you get true gratification, when you pour in and you're helping other people. So what I want to, want to do is I want to work with you guys, right? I want, to, I want to share my story. I want to pour my heart out to you. I want you to be able to ask me anything that you want. I want to help you get to the next level in your life. Um, Kalisa, right? 
Shalisa. I'm going to get that. I just turned 52 yesterday, so I'm getting old. You see I'm a gray hair, right? <laughs> but but here, here's the thing, Shalisa. I want you to meet some powerful women, right? Like Natasha Brown. This young lady here, she owns her own uh, company. You're going to meet my wife. My wife is a powerful woman. That's going to take your thinking to where it is today to a whole nother planet. Okay? And your belief system will begin to grow. And then you'll soar and do whatever you want to do. All you have to do is two things. You have to have a burning desire to come up out the hood. And see, for me, true story, when I was in the fourth grade, Carlos, I remember looking out the window at my school. I went to Garrison Elementary School in D.C. on, on uh, S Street. 13th and S. I remember looking out this window, right? And I said, you know what? God has got to be a better way. Right? And I always knew that I was going to be a millionaire. I just didn't know how it was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I always had a burning desire, even though I made some mistakes. And you make mistakes in life. We, we all do. I made some mistakes with using drugs and all that kind of stuff. Right? And I've done some, some crazy stuff along the way. But as long as you have a burning desire to complete whatever you want to do, you can do it. And then number two, right, is faith. you got to have the faith and the belief that you can do it. These are some of my principles that, that I talk about in the book. Okay? you got to have the faith. You can do nothing without faith. Right? So, you got that burning desire, whatever you want to do, coming up out of tech, you know, you can go to any college you want to, if you really, really apply yourself. My, my niece, Brittany, she just, you know Brittany? Yeah, yeah, she just graduated, and now she's down at North Carolina Central doing really big things, you know, meeting some people, I mean, just, I mean, she's soaring down there, you know? She's about to uh, 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 join a sorority down there. And she's just blowing up. And that's, that's the secret. You know, you got to have the desire, right, Carlos? Yes. And then you got to have faith.